Okay, so I'm going to take you through some examples of visualizations. Um, and the, the first one we're going to start with um, is uh, very pertinent, actually. I'm recording this in January 2021. Um, as I'm sure you all know, there's a pandemic going on. And people have become very familiar with visualizations, particularly looking at the, uh, for example, the first wave versus the second wave, those line plots you may have seen. Um, coincidentally, one of the earliest ever uh, data explorations came from an epidemic. Um, and it's, it's famous, it's an example by uh, Dr. John Snow from about the middle of the 19th century. Uh, and there were a lot of deaths occurring through cholera in a particular area of London. And what he did, he was, he, there, were, there were no computers obviously at this point in time. So what he did was he took a map and he plotted all the, all the deaths that had occurred on the map. And those, I think, are these black spots that you can see that uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit small, but you can see these black spots that uh, are scattered over the map. And that showed him that the, the, all the deaths were sort of focused on this particular point here, which turned out to have a water pump. Uh, at it. And uh, he was able to predict that somehow this water pump was connected to these deaths and that turned out to be the case and he was, he was able to treat this uh, cholera epi epidemic by using data visualization to uh, to find the source of this um, this out this, this epidemic. Uh, there's more info if you want to, it and uh, an interactive map at this link. Okay, so that was the first one. Moving on, I think we've we've become uh, much more familiar with uh, with with data visualization because of the proliferation of data and tools that are available. It's very popular and accessible, and and there's now uh, plenty of um, opportunities for even careers as a data scientist. And so this next example is one I came across from very recently. Um, it's called the Deep Sea by Neil Agarwal, uh, and let me show you that. Okay, here it is. So what he's done is taken a data set of um, the depths that you find various sea creatures at, mostly fish, but also some other uh, animals. And if you, you take this page and you scroll down, you can see that at 23 meters deep, for example, you can find polar bears. That's the deepest you'll find them. Keep scrolling and you see going further and further down uh, more and more different kinds of creatures. And it obviously gets sparser and sparser. You can see uh, at the at 332 meters, there's a the deepest that any human has scuba dived. Obviously, we can get deeper than that in submersibles, but that's the deepest scuba dive. And he's added a bit of text there. Go even further, you'll find this amazes me. Emperor penguins can dive to 540 meters. Amazing. Anyway, uh, so that's that's what we call an infographic. It, it's it's very. Uh, connected to the data set and as I said he's put in some information at specific points which tell you about the data it wouldn't easily be transferable to other kinds of data okay the next example then is uh, um, comes from a YouTube channel called data is beautiful um, I think the person behind this I don't know their name they're, they're quite coy about who it is but I think it's a, a PhD student who's put this together and this is a um, a data explanation, but or presentation, but not um, it's it's applicable to lots and lots of different kinds of data. So what this person has done is taken data sets of, of data uh, that's evolving every year or possibly every day, um, and turned that into a video. So the one we're going to look at is this best-selling music artist. It goes from 1969 to 2019, so it's quite a long video. We're only going to watch the the last bit of it. Uh, and I set it to start at 2015. You can see the, the date here. And as I play the video, you'll see uh, not only is it showing us the time evolving, but it's also showing us how different artists' sales go up and down relative to each other. And that pushes them either up or down the charts. Okay, and it's, it's a very compelling and very beautifully put together video. But the, uh, stop that, because I don't want to talk over it. The, the um, the, the nice feature about this is that he's built this technology that will do this, and then he can apply it to lots and lots of different data sets. So it's, it's, it's very much like what we're doing in this course. You can, you can build technologies, and then you can apply them over and over again. 
So our visualizations, they're going to look a bit like this. They'll look like bar charts. We could get colors in there. We, I usually don't bother, but you can certainly do that. Uh, we won't be doing animations um, because that's a bit advanced. It's not that difficult to go beyond this. I've seen code that will do this kind of visualization. So it's not, it's not impossible. Uh, and uh, we won't have some pictures. Uh, again, these are, these are kind of, you know, these are nice things that you can put on visualizations if you've got a data set of pictures, but uh, we won't be doing that. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here, and then we'll look at some more uh, examples in a second.